With the Mavs and the Jazz going into game six, who do you favor is going to win and why? Well, for once, I'm actually going to be confident in my team. I like what I've seen recently, excluding um, game four where Luka returned. But for whatever reason, we just got so hellbent on making jump shots that we kind of lost who we were until later in that fourth quarter when Luka was hitting shots. Um, I'm going to say that we have to rely on penetrating the paint. We're going to have to rely on getting to the free throw line. We're going to have to limit our fouls. Uh, Utah has lived at the free throw line pretty much all series long. But at the same time, we have also gotten their bigs into some decent foul trouble. Rudy Gobert has been relatively uh, a non-factor pretty much most of the series outside of his game-winning basket in Game 4. Um, Donovan Mitchell has been playing great in the second half over the last couple of games. He is averaging almost 20-something points per game. I want to say 27-28 during this, this, uh, this series. But obviously last game, him being injured and then him not really getting uh, the efficiency from the field that he normally does kind of leads us to wonder how effective he's going to be in this next game. I believe he's dealing with some bruised uh, bruised quads as well as a, a hamstring injury. Uh, from what I've understood, he is playing. But at the end of the day, excuse me, Dallas is going to have to play foot on the gas pedal, throw it on their necks, and just and just and finish the job. We have not won a playoff series since 2011, which was the year we won the finals. Uh, Luca has averaged 30 points per game since returning, and obviously Jalen Brunson has been our superstar outside of Luka Doncic. So if we can just get more contributions from Reggie Bullock like we've been getting, Dorian Finney-Smith has been chasing Donovan Mitchell like a madman, and then of course making sure that we just capitalize on the turnovers that Utah has late in games. If we can just make sure that Donovan Mitchell's having a tough night and we rely on other people to beat us, it's going to be a good night. Now, I don't expect it to be a blowout by any means like this last game was. I expect Utah to fight. But I will say that this does rely dependently on Jonathan Mitchell's health because without him, they are going to need a first option or another first option to score the basketball. And if that is just solely Jordan Clarkson, I think Utah's going to be in some trouble early on. Kevin, I mean, the way that I look at this series playing out as far as game six is concerned, I, I do agree with you. I do think that Dallas is going to close it out in six games. Um, even though that the Jazz have been competitive in this series, uh, despite the fact that they're down uh, 3-2 at this current moment in time, I, I just like the momentum that Dallas got from Game 5, and I think it's going to carry uh, carry on into Game 6. So the way that I see it is that, if you look at Game 4 specifically, it, the Mavericks played phenomenal um, on the defensive side of the ball, specifically. I mean, they held the Jazz to under 80 points. When you can hold an NBA team to under 80 points with how the game is played in the modern era at this current moment in time, that's extremely impressive. And granted, I know that the Mavericks didn't put up like 120, 130 points, but to win by 25 points in a playoff game, in a pivotal game five, uh, that's extremely important. And I think that's something that they could carry on going into game six just because the momentum is there. They have great pieces to work with. Luka Doncic is back in the fold that he's been. He's been marvelous since he's gotten back into the fold, uh, despite the fact that he missed the first three games of this series. And really the the star of the series so far for the Mavericks, the way that I see it, it has been Jalen Brunson. He has really shown me leaps and bounds in his game. And despite the fact that Luka was out, uh, he took the responsibility of being the focal piece of, of the Mavericks when Luka was out. And he's been extremely effective, uh, not only when Luka got back into the fold, but when he was out for those first couple games of the series. So, you know, if Luka and uh, Jalen Brunson can knock down shots consistently, I mean, there's a very good chance that between the two of them, they could get 50, 55 points. And then if they're able to get some decent contributions from uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, Dwight Powell, I think that's definitely going to work in Dallas's favor. But I will say this about Utah, because I, I know Utah's kind of down in the dumps after Game 5 because they just did not have that good of a game. I don't think that the Jazz are going to have a game where they shoot 10% from the three-point line going into Game 6. I just don't see that. They were 3 of 30 in Game 5. That is not going to happen. I do believe that Donovan is going to be a much more uh, focal presence for the Jazz going into Game 6 just because to score 9 points in a pivotal Game 5, I know that does not sit well with him, and I imagine that he's going to be going gangbusters uh, when they go into this Game 6. And I will say this. Kevin, you can attest to this. When those games were played in Salt Lake City in, in Games 3 and 4, the atmosphere inside that arena was electric. And I do think to a certain extent 
that the Jazz, they're going to understand um, how pivotal of a moment this is for them. Because, look, Donovan Mitchell's future with the Jazz is kind of up in the future right now, or is kind of up in the air at this current moment in time. Don't really know if he's going to stay if they get bounced out of the first round. And I think everybody on the team is going to rally around Donovan, and I think they're going to give them the best performance possible. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. I, I think the way that Dallas, the way that they've played this series from beginning to end, I think it's been phenomenal. Uh, even though that the, the Jazz have given them a very good show throughout the first five games of this series, I do think that Dallas is going to find a way to be able to close out the series in Salt Lake City. It's going to be a very close game as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't see this game uh, being more than a five-point win, whether it's either team that wins. But I do think that Dallas is going to be the team that moves on to the second round, and then Utah's going to be looking at the mirror, another first-round exit, and I know that's definitely going to... I know the uh, Donovan Mitchell uh, rumors are definitely going to start circulating if that actually happens uh, going into Game 6. But all in all, I think Dallas is the better team, and I think they take this Game 6 and move on to the second round. That's just how I see it. 